Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, today I got a really cool video for you. Probably the most excited I've been about a video in a long time. Uh, I got back my CDC submissions, bulk, standard, sorry, not standard, bulk and economy from uh, January 20th. So it's been actually almost a little bit over five months. Uh, I actually, <coughs> this pile here uh, was a bulk with subgrades and then some of them were economy but at the moment economy and send uh, economy and bulk are at least at the time they were <clears throat> fairly on the same timeline so i have a lot of cards here 50 plus so let's go ahead and just get into it uh with this first one um and so i want to preface this video actually before i get into it a lot of these cards there's a good mix of like modern and vintage um, but all the vintage is stuff from my childhood hood collection so we're not expecting any good grades here and I just want to preface that uh, by saying I want them encased. You know, childhood cards, there's a lot of sentiment, sentimental value there, and I'm not looking for any high grades there. So um, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not really, I don't want to see any comments people like, oh, why would you grade that? Well, no, I wanted to get that encased, and at the time it was cheap. Um, there may be some modern cards in here where I might not uh, have sent off with in hindsight, but, you know, that's at the time. People were sending everything off, and it was cheap, and that's just how it is. So. Let's get started. Uh, this might be one of those cards. It's an Amazing Rare Jirachi. It's actually, I sent it in to get the OC grade, and it did. Uh, you can tell it's very off-centered. Uh, the Pokemon text at the bottom is cut off. For me personally, I would not have submitted this again just because it's not that off-center. I would have liked for the whole bottom border to be gone, but still nice. Uh, next card, this is actually from my childhood collection. Uh, I can put it in the EX, my EX era collection. Uh, Hidden Legends Nine Tail EX, a lot better grade than I thought it was gonna get. It actually got a ten centering, so pretty nice. Uh, and then these I had already opened, so I already know the grades on this small little stack. Um, we have a special delivery Pikachu, no subgrades. Uh, we got some print lines going on there. That's probably why I got a nine, but cool card. Here's a uh, Evolutions Charizard. This is actually the <laughs> one of the. I mean, a lot of people have a similar story, but their first pack of Pokemon cards I opened getting back into the hobby was Evolutions and this came out of a tin so just wanted to get it graded um, since then I've gotten a few more um, wouldn't get this graded in hindsight but it's um, I guess the card that got me back into the hobby like a lot of you this one I really 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 wish I got subgrades on I wasn't expecting in a 9.5 um, this is probably my favorite pull ever um, I guess for modern cards now I pulled this last year out of a couple of blisters of unified minds and it's just Mew Mewtwo Rainbow it's it's a crazy card but yeah I wish I got subgrades but still 9.5 is great grade uh, this um, Sylveon GX I pulled it out of a Hidden Fates tin well my girlfriend actually pulled it so I wanted to get it graded for her um, colors a nice con candy uh, these I pulled from Darkness of Blaze booster boxes uh, I forgot which one was my first Darkness of Blaze booster box, which was my first um, booster box in a while, but um, this is also kind of one of the cards that got me back into it, so to see 295s come back, pretty nice. And then we have a Champion's Path, Rainbow Rare, Charizard VMAX, 9.5 as well. So those, uh, these two will go good with my CGC 10, Shiny Charizard, or, well, Shiny Charizard VMAX from, uh, from Shiny Fates. Let's get into the grades I haven't seen. So I'm just going to pull out a stack here. And maybe just one by one, actually. Packed it in pretty tightly. Just looking at this, this card looks like it could be modern. Uh, I'm going to get a code card here. Is it Chilling Rain? Looks like it could be modern. It's actually not. It's a hollow Rapidash from... What was this? Is this... Um, fire red leaf green. Not entirely sure. Let's see. Yeah, fire red leaf green. Eight point five. Not bad. Don't see much on the surface. Uh, but then again, these are from. There's some nicks down here in this corner. Um, that's a great grade to get. You know, for being my childhood collection for so long. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I think it'll be fairly evident if it's um. If it's a childhood card or not. Um, this is a Celebi, amazing rare. Uh, centering looks pretty clean. Okay, got a nine. Not nine five would have been nice, but 
could be worse. And like I said, this is going to be a mix of modern and um, played vintage. I uh, can't really tell on this one, Sen. Back centering looks pretty good. Yep, this is my Zamazena. Amazing rare. I just want to get all the, the amazing rares in case. Not looking for the perfect grades, but another nine. So at least it, it'll look good. Two nines together. Um, I think I submitted all of the amazing rares, so let's see. Okay, so this is the first card that I would say that I would definitely not submit again. This is a Raichu, uh, Hollow Raichu from Evolutions. Um, you know, I could see why someone would grade the Charizard, but um, the rest of the cards, unless you're looking for a master set graded, it's really not worth it um, from that point of view. But um, yeah, this is just, you know, everybody was submitting everything, and I was still fairly getting back into the game. So some print lines here. Um, yeah, got an 8.5. Uh, evolutions paired with the print lines, the centering, and then the corners are cut terribly. That's a fair grade. Um, <laughs> didn't even get a better grade than the vintage card. That's funny. Okay, next one. Okay, yeah, this is also from some of the Unified Minds I opened. Um, this is a Rowlet and a Lolan Executor. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a 9. Let's put that in the 9 pile. I believe I pulled two of those, but I only submitted one. Okay, yeah, this is one of my... I, I opened a lot of Unified Minds, if you can't tell. This is actually a pretty cool card. Raichu and Alolan Raichu. Uh, Rainbow Rare. Just trying to look at the centering. It's a little off. This is probably an 8.5, I'd say. 9. Yep, 9. Okay, and <laughs> you see more Unified Minds. This is a Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. This is interesting because I think it's one of the only tag team cards that has a mega, uh, mega like Pokemon version in it. So, okay, another nine. Still looking for that first nine five, but at least we got it on the Me Too, Me GX. Okay, so Sylveon GX. I actually got this graded just to go with the um, Shiny Fates one to give to my girlfriend. Uh, centering's off on this one. Centering on GX for CGC, they're pretty harsh on it. So. Yeah, centering is probably an 8.5 subgrade there. Okay, so Alakazam V. This is actually a really cool card from Vivid Voltage. Um, Fuller. I would be expecting a 9 here. An 8.5. Okay, there must be something on the surface. Because centering looks fairly clean. It's a little off left to right, but its corners look okay. Um, yeah, the textured cards, they do get hit for centering, so... A5 was not expecting that, but it's all right. Okay, this is my, again, this is some of the childhood cards I just submitted. Um, yeah, 7.5 Neo Genesis Pikachu. Just submitted it just to have it in case. If I, I, I wouldn't buy those cards and get them graded. Um, it's just sentimental for me. Um, again, like with the Raichu, um, I just sent it in. Definitely would not do it in hindsight. Eight five exactly. <laughs> Thank God this is uh, so cheap. I, I I can't imagine doing this now. Submitting bulk with their current prices. Uh, yeah, Squirtle. This is also Fire Red Leaf Green. I actually graded a whole set of the starters, so this will be cool to have them together. Okay, got an eight. I think the next is probably a base set two Squirtle, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I graded a base set set, but I didn't have a base set Squirtle, so I just submitted the base set two. Um, 7.5, yeah. 7.5 from a binder is not bad. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to reveal the grade no more. I just want to get through this. I don't want to keep you too long. Yeah, 8.5 uh, Charmander from Fire Red Leaf Green. I think they, oh, I was going to say that they have all the same uh, artists, but they didn't. That was my 8.5 base set, Unlimited Charizard, or Charmander. That's actually really nice. I was not expecting 8.5 there. Uh, sorry, wrong pile. These are supposed to go here. Next two would probably be the Bulbasaur. Yeah, my 8.5 Bulbasaur from Fire Red Leaf Green. So if the Squirtle had been 8.5, it would have looked a lot nicer, but that's okay. And then this will be my base set Bulbasaur 8.5. Nice. 
So maybe maybe it's good that we got a seven five on the base set too, because I can find a. It's probably pretty easy to find a base set Squirtle that's eight five. Okay, my ooh loose tactics, nice it's from Unified Minds, nine five. Look at the shine on that card. That's that's a nice one. I think I have Misty's favor in here too. Okay, next card. Um, Jesse and James, nine five. Uh, there's a lot of these out there just because people open it in face a lot, but you know, iconic characters on a full art card. Why not? You want to be surprised now. Quick Ball, great card from uh, Sword and Shield Base. I pulled this out in an ETB from Barnes and Noble. Centering's a little off, probably nine. Yep, there we go, nine. Ooh, okay, we're getting into some of my nicer childhood cards. So this is Mudkip from uh, is it Ruby and Sapphire, I believe. It's an e-reader, although I don't know. There's no barcode on that. I don't even know if it scans, but these reverse hollows. There's a lot of surface wear on them. It's really hard to get good grades on these, so let's see. Yeah, we got a seven. Um, it's a nice art. It's a mud kip. Everybody likes mud kip, so good to get that in case. There's a squirtle. Oh, these. It's such a nice card. I don't actually know what set this is from. I forgot. It's an e-reader set. Let's see. Uh, Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Cool. 7.5. We can go with the other squirtle. All right. There's my uh, this is Expedition Blastoise Rare, I believe. Yeah, that's Expedition. Um, I feel like there was a bend in here, so um, this is like one of the only Blastoises I had as a kid, other than my beat up base set. So seven. Yeah, non hollow rare, but it seems like the water type starters are getting hosed on grading. It's a Bennett Hollow from. Uh, is this Hidden Legends? Yeah, Hidden Legends 8. Not bad. A lot of scratching there, so you can see why that got an 8. Next card. Ooh, this is a Jolting. This is a nice one. Um, Sandstorm, I want to say. Surface looks fairly clean in the hollow, at least. Let's see. 8. Not bad. Yeah, some corner wear up there. Um, it's always hard to tell centering on the. I guess it's not the right side's a little bit heavier, um, but a nice card. Evolution. Ooh, this is a nice one too. Jirachi from Deoxys, Hollow Rare. Uh, I don't think this is gonna get a super. This won't. Maybe seven point five. There's some stuff on the surface that I didn't even see when I was submitting. So let's see. Oh wow, an eight. Huh. That's probably one of the. the Best grades we've gone so far on the um, my childhood cards. Okay, ooh, Cradle EX. Yeah, so this was so as a kid, I had the Nine Tails EX, like you just saw. I had a Zapdos EX that graded PSA nine, and then had a Cradle EX. So seven point five. I was hoping for an eight, but it can still go in the EX collection. I don't. I think I'll make my uh, EX threshold seven point five because I have a few seven point fives already. Okay, so this is my Shadowless Ninetales. Um, the only base set hollow I submitted that was in decent, not even decent, like plate condition. Everything else is just falling apart. So this is probably like a five, even if that, like if you look at the back, this, in terms, yeah, there's just some surface wear down there. So let's see, probably five, four and a half, something. Yeah, five. But Shadowless Ninetales, it's a cool card. Okay, and then this is my, uh, my uh, so the symbols are a legendary collection, but it was from a theme deck, the Lava theme deck, I think. Um, it's a non-hollow Charizard, the only Charizard I had as a kid as a base set, and it is beat up on the back. There's a huge crease right here. Uh, this is probably like a 2, 3, I don't know, 4.5, very good. <laughs> yeah, that's more than I would have given it. Um, thanks. Thanks, CGC. Okay, uh, yeah, and then again, like evolution stuff. Um, you know, I definitely would not have submitted this now, but uh, especially for a grade like this. Uh, let's just get through these. I believe there's a Charizard EX next. Yep. And nine, not bad. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have submitted those, even if I'm new, I'm getting nine fives. It's just like there's so many of those cards out there. 
Um, we're getting into some more modern. There's a Mega Charizard EX. I got an A5. Yeah, there you go. But not disappointed. I mean, not you know, you live and learn. I didn't know at the time. Uh, there's a Dragonite EX. Not bad. Um, there is a little thing right here that's probably going to knock Surface down. I'm just looking at it right now. Um, but you learn how these things go, you know? A5. Oh, there, I guess I would lie. There is more in here. Um, Evolution Hollows. An 8? Wow. That's surprising. Okay, we'll look at that one later just because I feel like that's a little harsh. Uh, yeah, here's some more. I mean, I'm not... I would definitely not submit stuff like this. Um, it's just, you know, that's what everybody was doing and it was cheap. And me personally, I didn't really understand what I was doing. It got a 9.5 though. That's, that's really good. <laughs> Our third 9.5 grade. Uh, oh, okay. We got a shiny Charmander. This is, uh, I pulled this out of my first Hidden Fates. Um, where did I get that tin at? Yeah, I forgot exactly where I got the tin at, but this is my very first Hidden Fates opening. And I got a 9. Sorry, I just skipped it. There's a 9 uh, Blaster CX from the collection box. Got a few of those at Walmart. Top KGX. I actually ordered this off TCG Player uh, when I was first getting back into the hobby. And I like Top KGX and I thought it looked cool and it created a 9. Okay, uh, yeah, just stuff that, you know, I'm almost embarrassed to show stuff like this, but um, anyway, we got a 9. Um, see, we're getting we're getting down to the wire here. Last few cards, Dragon IGX from Unified Minds. Same thing here, although I did submit this one because I just really like the expression Dragon Eye has and the art and everything. It just look it reminds me of um, the Dragon Majesty art. I don't know if you've seen the Dragon Eye pack art. We got a nine five though, not bad. Okay, we got a Palkia GX. Just gonna kind of go through these last ones. Got a nine five. Wow. That was a Pikachu VMAX. Um, I've actually learned quite a lot about how CGC, or just by experimenting with what grades they give their VMAXs. And just looking at this one, it's a little left heavy, a little bottom. It's a little top heavy, actually. You don't see the top, but this should be thicker at the bottom for a good centering grade. There's a 9. Um, I believe the last few cards are going to be a Rainbow Rare Scissor VMAX. Um... Maybe, okay, that was Snorlax. Yeah, this is a nice card. Um, this one's actually, the center is decent. It's really good, actually. I'm just comparing it to my CGC 10 Charizard. It's a 9.5, yeah. So this one probably got docked for edges or corners or something. Surface. Yeah, there's a Scissor VMAX. So this was in my, I pulled this and the Charizard VMAX out of my first Darkness of Blaze box, so. I was pretty hyped. I thought, you know, Wow, we have good pull rates in Pokemon now. No, it was just a beginner's luck coming back. Um, we got a nine here. But I just love this card. I mean, just Scissor's a sick Pokemon. They're putting the rainbow on it and that, the stance that Scissor's in is super cool. Okay, we have last uh, two cards left. Oh, there's my Zacian. So maybe the last card's are Rayquaza. Nine, five. Cool. Last card is probably Rayquaza unless it's in a different submission. Oh, there's my Misty's favor. Um, pulled this out of a Dollar Tree tin. It was crazy. And got a nine. Okay, well there, there you have it. I mean, waiting five months for this, and you know, people you know look at the grades, and it's like not the highest grades, but again, like I said, you know, half of them are submitted just to have them in case for the, you know, so they don't get in worse condition. And the other thing is, like, you know, not everybody understood what they were submitting back then. And, you know, I'm just one of those people. And you live and learn. And, you know, now when you do submissions, you know, you have, you have a very um, high standard of what, what you think can get a good grade. And just looking at the types of cards I submitted, it's not even terrible. I mean, you have a decent 9.5. Um, sorry, you have this is 9.5, 9.5. This is from my other submission, actually. 9, 9.5. Eight five nine eight and a nine. Just looking at the distribution, like this is all nine five. This is a nine. Like those are good grades. I mean, those are good cards. And then eight five. You know, you kind of taper down here in terms of quality, but um, eights and sevens on benches. It's like 
you know, we were taking these cards out of binders as a kid, and um, you know, you can't expect for much. And you know, especially things like this, the Charizard. It's like kids were bringing these to school, put them in their pockets because everybody loved Charizard, so you wanted to show it to your your friends and things. And I probably got it from school or something. I don't I don't even remember, but. Yeah, I just want to get that point across, and it's, you know, it's not all about money, not about grades. You know, sometimes you just want to have something in a, in a, in a case. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I was waiting for a long time. You'll probably see a bunch of other bulk, you know, economy submissions start to come out from people. Um, but anyways, uh, have a good day and like the video if you like these submissions, and talk to you next time. See ya.